I feel like I can't catch a damn break on this series so far. I've had a lot of misfortune, but the one thing that I've had, barring the best mistake that I've made of locking myself in a water temple, I don't even know if another Minecrafter in the world has done that before. Probably. I died off camera again. I didn't even catch it this time though because I was nowhere close to being able to record and I need to get my stuff back. I got killed by a drown with a spear or whatever the, the uh, trident thing is or whatever. So, play the death note. What have you done? Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Peter Brennan, and welcome back to another episode of Hydration. Hydration SMP, including only myself, single player for right now. The main point of the series, of course, is to remind you guys to continue to drink water. Keep this, keep some water by your desk. Drink it every once in a while. I don't care how often you get up from the computer. I don't care what your diet is. I don't care if you exercise. It does not matter. But your body needs water, arguably almost more than anything. Maybe sleep being more important than water, but. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, when I take a drink, you guys take a drink as well, too. I can't stress enough how important it is. And it's not for marketing. It's not a meme. I'm being genuine. When I started drinking water after, you know, five years, I don't know how long I was on the computer and just did not do it. it changed my life. It really does make just this big difference that you feel so much better. But right now, we're on the Optifine page because I didn't know they had this, but apparently it's here, and I love it. Uh, updates in Minecraft 1.13. 40% merging Optifine changes. I have no idea what the hell this could even mean. But 40% until Optifine for Minecraft 1.13 comes out. Apparently, July 27th, this was at 30% from 15. So it's been a week, and it's 10% more. But apparently, the jump before was in a week, and that was like 15%. So taking what this is, it'll be, if we're lucky, I, I mean, listen guy who runs out to find if it's a team whatever it may be take as long as you damn need to okay you got the best mod in the entire minecraft universe for crying out loud okay maybe next to tinker's construct but take as long as you need i'm just saying i feel like we'd be lucky if we got opt to find for 1.13 in a month that's like being generous i want to say almost guaranteed by two months at the rate that this percentage is going so i've seen on reddit but that's the big change that we're hoping for I'm just praying because the really unfortunate thing about Minecraft without Optifine, and I don't know if it's just me or my computer or something. I mean, hell, look at the top right. I'm running the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, one of the best graphics cards on the market, as well as a 32 core AMD Ryzen thread, well, 16 core with 32 threads, Threadripper 1950X, one of the best CPUs in the entire world, market world, same thing. And my crap still runs like crap. I'm running at eight render distance right now, and I'm still getting shot frames. Every time I open a damn gate, I don't know why the hell this is a thing. If it's updating a light source or something. But this freezes my client almost entirely, which is just very weird. I might need to restart my computer. The point of it, though, is I don't know if you guys have seen... Like, let me video 16 chunks, okay? This is ridiculous. The game should not lag this badly just running 60 in chunks. I don't know if it's just me. In fact, I actually almost want to try restarting my computer before this. I'll be honest, I haven't restarted my computer since playing this series since we began. I think my computer's probably had an uptime of about 10 days by now, which might be the problem. But what I want to talk about in comparison is, I don't know how many of you guys have played Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the Windows 10 version. I got so many people telling me... Or, I mean, just like over the course of me playing Java uh, and Reddit and things about how the rendering for chunk loading on the Bedrock Edition is miles better than on here. In fact, actually, I could show you. Welcome to the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. And uh, it is running a little bit of a lower frame rate right now because I believe, probably because I've got 1.13 on the background. I've got both running at the moment. But this is a 1.13 essential like for bedrock right look at this 
Look at the render distance, first off. Look at how damn far away you can see things. It's insane. And you know what the crazy thing is, right? I was pushing eight chunks back on 1.13 when the video started, and then I've upped it to 16, and then I barely even rendered in. If you go to settings, and you go to video on this monstrosity, render distance 64! Hell happened to my voice. I got like way too into it there. 64. For reference, 16. Look at that. Butter smooth. This is the most basic. They don't have anything less. 16 is the lowest that you can run. And the game runs. Oh my god. Oh. What the hell? You guys aren't even experiencing how many frames this is getting. There's no debug or anything, so I don't know how much FPS I'm getting. But look at this. For 16 render, this is insane. And the game can push all the way up to freaking... Hold on, where is it? Uh, is it 96, I believe? 96... Oh, smooth lighting. 96 chunks. The thing is, though, with how damn far I can see out here, it's not only that Java is written in a slower language and this is written in a faster language. They handle chunk loading completely different. I like this style more, but for Java, it's more technical and better for, you know, like long-term SMPs. Because for here, this is only rendering visuals. None of these chunks are actually ticking and active. And what that means is, say you've got like a redstone contraption going on over there, or redstone contraption going on all the way over there, that's not going to update. Like if you have lighting sources or like auto light changes for day and night, that won't change. It'll just stay the same because those chunks aren't actually ticking. They're not loaded in. This can render out so far because it's only showing you visual of the world. Nothing else. No mobs, no redstone mechanics, nothing like that. In fact, I think the render distance for Bedrock is maybe even six or eight chunks. It's really not great. It might even be three, I heard, at one point or another. So it's actually quite terrible for that sort of thing. But Java, on the other hand, if you render 16 chunks, it'll tick all of those chunks and they'll basically function as a proper world which for a lot of things is unnecessary, but some things it could be. Like that sheep over there, look how I can't see it after that far. That's how short the chunk rendering is on this. So if I backed up this far, I'm pretty sure a redstone construction down there wouldn't work because it doesn't render out that far. But at the same time, you get such a beautiful visual. I can almost see the entire 2500 by 2500 map. If I was playing on Bedrock Edition, but I, I did the comparisons, I looked it over. Bedrock is just simply not better than Java when it comes to single player worlds. When you get try and get technical, like we're going to at one point or another. I just wish that Minecraft Java could have the option for you to just render in visuals. So if I wanted to have chunks, like say even at 32, the max that Minecraft will allow you on Java, this is our... Look at how butter smooth this is. Maybe you can't see too much of a difference, but for me, this feels like 144 beautiful hertz on my monitor. It's incredible. But obviously, nothing's loading in and past there. I just wish that Java had an option for this sort of thing, because it's all this... I go back to Java, and I know that it's a smarter Minecraft to be playing, but I can't help but feel like I'm playing a Minecraft from five years ago at the same time when it comes to advancements, you know? I just... Please give us this. I need it. It looks so beautiful and it runs so damn well. I see I probably shouldn't have shown you this because now I'm going to go back to regular Minecraft and uh, y'all aren't going to be happy here. So yeah, comparison. That's on 16 chunks. And that's the most we can push. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I mean, look, top left, 45 FPS. The other was probably 300, 400, maybe a thousand. <laughs> so what I want to go ahead and do right now is I would like to explore a little bit because I haven't set down a place of where I want to call my home for right now. I know I've got this turtle farm here. I know I've already like kind of decked out that island for a couple of trees here and there. And I've been to that one, did the, you know, like we've done a little bit, right? But the spawn is right over there. There's this huge map and we've seen almost nothing. And I don't want to leave this to like an HTM style thing where I only go adventuring basically after things have already finalized for the most part. I want to find out a place where I can really set down my home now. Because while we have a spawn point, 
it's not meant to be a place where I go to every single time. The bed is going to be the respawn point if I die. And if I do get thrown back there, that's just kind of like an oh shit moment, you know, for the most part. But I don't know. But there's so many different kinds of ocean biomes as well, too. There's warm oceans, lukewarm oceans. Uh, I want to find a coral reef as well. I want to set my home down in the ocean. You know, put this heart of the sea to good use. Get a conduit going and really just be able to swim around. I won't have to worry about drowning or anything like that. Like, it'll be amazing. You get full water breathing, haste, and all this beautiful stuff. Night vision. Oh, I'm just like, I'm getting so eager at the thought of it. And I just, oh, I love it. 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 So I believe that I've got a boat around. Yeah. So I've got this one over here. Hopefully I don't kill a turtle doing this. There we go. Separate you two. Now, I also believe one of the drowned around here has, uh, now I think that would probably despawn by now. At least I believe. I'm going to go over real quickly to the island in front. For those that haven't seen the map again, let me go ahead and pop it on the screen right here. This is the area we're exploring. 2,500 by 2,500, completely condensed in, only ocean. There's no other biomes aside from the mesa at the bottom. That's the spawn point. It's very small. And the tiniest desert on the far left side, which I don't think has any attributes of an actual desert. So I didn't feel a need to get rid of it or find a map where that wasn't a thing. I think it'll be fine and it'll basically just act like an island to me. And I think it's what makes this series on YouTube a little bit unique because I'm sure there's a lot of people doing 1.13 Let's Plays, but I don't know how many of them are doing it ocean only. And I'm not saying that necessarily to compare mine to theirs or say well, whose is better. I'm just saying for me, playing on a world where I know that ocean is the only thing that I have to explore makes this feel so much cooler to me. It makes it feel like a, a custom map where I'm playing like a like a sky block, but ocean block. Kind of like Uncharted. Man, everything I'm doing right now is just for the sake of water instead of air or earth or fire. <laughs> like we're the last airbender, but we actually picked a bend to be able to master. Is it called a bending? Uh, a bend? I don't know what the hell it's called. An attribute? An ability? Whatever it may be. Look at the freaking frame rate that I'm getting chopping on the tree. This is disgusting. It ain't my computer. My computer's running fine. I tested it out last week. Everything's good. Thermal pace is fantastic. Nothing's wrong. But yet somehow I'm getting this bullshit. Ah, oh, man. Apologies for the language, all right? Colon D's or capital D colons in chat, please. But it does kind of upset me. You know what I mean? Like it's, it shouldn't happen, but it does. And it's unfortunate. It really is. Uh, but either way, let me go ahead and grab the boat and... Let's just go off, man. Let's just go off and try and find some areas. To clarify one more time again, Kara did log on to this world for me using my account on my computer. I don't believe she did anything in the process of doing that, but she checked every single biome, and there's all nine oceans in here. And also, some people had addressed, because I had made a comment last episode, or the one before, I couldn't remember, that I was a little bit upset because we don't have a swamp here. Ooh, another one of those biomes. We don't have any swamps, so you can't get lily pads. Apparently not true. Apparently you can get lily pads from fishing. So while that kind of solves what I was talking about, we would need a lot of uh, just a really good AFK fishing farm to really, you know, make as many lily pads as I would want. Because I want more than just one lily pad. You know, I want like... I just want a lot of them. But I feel like for fishing, we'd get a few. And I don't think there's a farm for lily pads. You know, like du taking a lily pad and physically duplicating the thing. So I don't really know. I just don't think there's a way. Because we don't have a swamp. Which sucks. But I wouldn't have wanted a swamp anyway. Because again, while it is... Man, look at the chunk errors. Minecraft, you are not showing your beautiful colors right now. I'll tell you that much. It's also nighttime. I kind of wish that I had brought my bed with me. We could kill some sheep real fast here. Did I bring my iron? I brought my iron. You know what? We could shear them instead. A little bit more of a humane thing to do. Let me see if I can do this real quickly. Yeah, on you three right here. Oh, don't. Oh, come on. You really had to kill him? I'm over here trying to be a nice guy. Oh, I guess I. Ass what you get. How did that not block? Doesn't matter. That's what you get. You shot yourself. GG, well played, moron. <laughs> you joik. 
I gotta go killing sheep, you joik. All right, let me uh plop down a little crafting table real fast. I'm not gonna be able to sleep on this island. I need to go ahead and move to another one real fast here. I'll make a little porta bed. A little portable bed right there. There we go. Probably could have colored this, but I think we'll be all right. So let me go ahead and get away from this drowned. Hello, good sir, and goodbye. Yeah, there's too many mobs here. I won't be able to sleep. Maybe could sleaze... Uh, sleaze? Sleazy. Not sure that's what I meant to say. Maybe I could, uh... Squeeze in a little sleep real fast here. I'm down to go check out a little bit more loot as well, too. Because I'd like to find a good underwater area. That's the thing. I want to make my house underwater. I don't want it to just be, like, on an island. It would be cool if we could maybe make a hybrid, but I would love the idea. That's why I wanted to do sponges underneath. Because once we did that, you know, once we got the sponges, I could just get a lot of glass after getting some sand and clear out an area, and there you go. Why that squid look like a fireball? That was weird. But yeah, exploring in this is interesting, because it's not like we're exploring a giant array of biomes. We're just exploring an ocean. So while there is... You know, kelp floating to the surface makes this seem a lot weirder than it actually is. What more can I do with kelp where it would actually be useful to grab all of these? And I think this is a... See, what is this? I don't have a silk touch, so I don't want to just grab that on my own. What we got here? Oh, man! Well, then. Oh, I'm getting pulled down. Wait, is that what happens? You get pulled down? Oh, is that what that noise is? Interesting. I don't know what's causing me to get pulled down. And also, what's in here? A little loot thing? Oh my god. Hello? Can't tell if lag or not, but a bit strange. Alright, let me go and break this right here. Yeah, we got a mending fishing rod. That's sick. What the hell is this? Oh, another block. Alright, let me grab... Oh, shit. Hello. Yeah, I'm really just, like, kind of terrified for these, the ones that have the, uh, harpoons or whatever the hell, the, the tridents, <laughs> the harpoons. Ah, I love myself. All right, uh, let me go back here and see if I can grab a little bit of air. I know I'm wasting torches doing this, but I'll, I'll, oh, shit. Hi, guys. Hey, how you doing? Y'all seem to be having a great time. You got a chest down there that I could maybe, uh, check out? No? No chest? Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. I'm still getting pulled. It's gotta just be from the drown, right? They pull you down, drown, pull you down. That makes sense. See, I thought whenever that was happening to my boat that my boat was about to break. And the drown was like kind of just alterating it around. But a mending fishing rod to start. Not bad. Because mending... Alright, another buried treasure map. Ooh, okay. These things seem to be a little bit more common than I would have expected. I don't know why, but I figured that... I thought that the buried treasure map would have just been like... A one in maybe like one out of every thousand by thousand radius. I really didn't expect it to be unless we're doing fine on both regards. But I believe that this island right here. Let me see which way are we going? North, east. Yeah, okay, cool. Is it gonna be this island? Yeah, it's this island right here. And this one's in the ocean. Yeah, this one's in the ocean, not on the land. Should actually be pretty easy. So that's pulling me down. Would be. Okay. Good to know. Um, okay, so we're right above it. See, is it gonna be obvious? Like, painfully? Yeah, it is. Why does it gotta be so painfully obvious, man? Couldn't they have done a little better job of making these naturally generated? I know it's asking a lot, but... I mean, I guess it's just the idea of getting it, I suppose. I mean, hell, it stumped me the first time, but, you know, not very. Yeah, there we go. It's just like, look for the really unnatural world generation. Holy shit! <laughs> TNT, emeralds, and iron. And I love that cooked cod. There we go. And another heart of the sea. I guess it's good to pick up as many heart of the seas as we could find. Yeah, you know what? Because this isn't really... I don't mind knocking all these out right now. Because I'm not really looking to do these, a f you know, like, save them for an episode. Because it's very simple and repeated content. The more conduits we get, or the more Heart of the Seas that we get, the more conduits we get. And the more conduits we get, the wider radius we have where we can just breathe underwater and do whatever we want to. Ooh, is this shipwreck? Ooh, I got a full ship over here. 
This looks fun. So I hope you guys like the idea of adventuring around in, you know, ocean as opposed to a, a full world with like, whoa, that's a cool mountain biome, or whoa, there's a mushroom biome. And also, by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys got the image or not, but I opted for no mushroom biome in this. I, I thought about it, but really... Like, when I came down to it, I needed to remind myself, as cool as that is, and it is a part of the ocean, it's not an ocean, right? If I wanted, or if I could have, actually, nah, I wouldn't bar the, I don't know why I've been saying bar so often. I wouldn't get rid of the islands, because you need these, and they do add a little bit more, like, breathability in here. But, at the end of the day, the mushroom island is just a... It's just a biome with land, so it didn't really fit the theme of what I was going for. Hope you guys are okay with that. I know they're cool. I know they can be sweet. But speaking of cool and sweet, let's see what uh, shipwreck goodies we got down here. Because I have yet to check out one of these. It looks so cool, my texture pack. Oh, I love it so much. That's not at all what we need to be doing. Uh, what do we got? A diamonds. Okay. Iron nuggets. Understood. Losing health right now, so or losing oxygen, so I need to do this rather quick quickly. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming there's probably more to this ship than just that. At least I'd hope. It's very dark. Here we go. Leather boots, fire protection one. Paper, wheat. Yeah, the boots mostly. Ah, uh, okay. Sure, why not? And then is there anything else? We got what seems to be a door, and then another chest. A compass, more paper, and another buried treasure map. Okay, so these things spawn. What can I get rid of that I don't really care about? Uh, the arrow. Uh, we'll take a compass, maybe. Sure, why not? Actually, I don't really know if I need a compass, unless it's... Unless a compass serves a different point in this Minecraft version, where that would be useful. The paper's nice, though. Uh, what can I get rid of that I don't really need? Uh, God. I don't really need a tunic. No, actually, I'd like to keep. Yeah, you know what? I'd like to keep uh, the chest. Yeah, keep the chest. I think the... Yeah, I think I lost it anyway. I'm pretty sure I threw it out up here. It might be up here. And if not, I don't really need the compass. Mostly, it's cool to keep, like, the, the armor for what I get through all this. So, buried treasure map, ID number one. Let's see here. Okay, so we need to go south, and we've already... Wait, no, that's the one. Wait, no, we've already done that. Oh, because it says scaling a 1-2. I mean, wait, no, never mind. All right. Where the hell... Whoa. That one's not a help at all. Okay, this one seems kind of fun. Hmm. We're going north this way. So we need to go southeast. And we're not really going to have much of a warning once we get there because the idea... Hmm. There is an island. I'll tell you... Wait. Are we already generating in? I think we are. No, we're not. Okay, that's just part of something else. So, Dolphin, you seem to have a little bit of a hoarse voice. Not to insult you. Oh, is this one right here? I think it's this one right here. So, another heart of the sea. I thought these things were a lot rarer than they are, but I guess not. That's okay. Or it might just be the fact that this is a very large ocean, and they kind of take into account, yeah, multiplayer servers exist. Which is nice, so not everybody would have it. I guess it makes sense. Another shipwreck over there, which we'll go ahead and check out. I mean, I want to explore the biomes and stuff, but I might as well have some fun with the... You know, I'll have some fun with some of the loot first as well. Alright, so it's right here. Let's see, where is the odd ball out? Is it right there at the bottom? Is it this weird thing? Is it really this weird thing? Oh yeah, come on. You gotta make it harder! At least put it inside some stuff. Alright, seems to be about the same... Array of items we got last time as well, too. The emeralds, there we go. The TNT, the fish. I think it's a good way to get food. And prismarine crystals. You know, honestly... I mean, how we're lower we're right now? 13? Jesus! This thing's ducks down. And there's even, like, a little water. Yo, that's so cool. Oh, that's sick. If I break any of this, aside from what's at the bottom, I'm gonna lose this little uh, air pocket right here, which I don't want to. It's a cool little thing. Uh, maybe we can find some diamonds right here? I mean, while I'm down here, I might as well check. We got some gold. Oh, I don't want to miss them, though. I mean, that's the thing about this texture pack that I love. Ores are easier to see. Because they protrude. They 
literally bounce themselves farther out from the wall, which is so nice. Which makes uh, caving, or strip mining rather, caving. What do you think I'm doing? It makes strip mining a lot easier. Because you can physically see like, oh shit, there was a thing above me that I would have missed otherwise because I wasn't looking on top. And a PSA to you guys playing Minecraft. For the love of God, when you're digging a 1x2 tunnel strip mining, look up. I bet you miss so many goodies up there that you probably just don't even care about. Because you're like, why would someone spawn above me? You know, the idea of it is a bit strange, but... Let me check and see if there's anything else. Anything over here? No? I'm not seeing any diamonds. If you guys see any, screenshot it let me know. Let me know that I missed it. That's lapis. Not diamonds. Remember the diamonds aren't black in this. Ain't no black diamond texture pack. They are standard color. Yet to find diamond. I mean, I've got one in my hopper right now, but... <laughs> you get the point. I've yet to find a diamond while mining in the series so far. Which is a little sad. And I think before I go check out this uh, shipwreck down here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bed down and do a quick little sleep. So I'm gonna lose my spawn point in this case, which I think is okay. I don't really mind that too much. So if we die, we'll probably... Well, the nice thing is if we die... Downside, obviously, is losing all this here, but if we keep breaking the bed, we'll respawn back at the world spawn, which is nice. And hopefully you guys don't mind- wait. Oh, I thought this was a shipwreck. I guess it doesn't really matter. There's no real difference in the loot. I mean, I did get- wait, no. I've actually gotten better loot in these, I think. Because I don't know if, uh- hey, let me see here. Another buried treasure map. I have so many of these now. Lord. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna really quickly grab the wheat. So I can get a lot of bread with that. I ain't talking about cash. Alright. Okay. So far, none of you guys have tridents, which is really nice. Got my boat over there. Uh, you know what? I need to make, like, a chest or something, because I... I wish I had a shulker box right now. Shulker box would be really, really nice. Let's, uh... See if we can find anything over... What the hell? What the hell? Is that something insane or is that just uh not terracotta is it terracotta is that what that is hold on let me because i want to make sure i know what i'm taking back here because there's definitely a little bit more loot i'm gonna throw a chest down really quickly here oh god <laughs> we're in the land of temporary chests but in this game i didn't think that was a chicken i thought it was a mini iron golem I swear to God, I think I might be worried about myself right now. Okay. Um. Wait. No. We've already done this one. Wait, have we? Wait, no, we haven't. Wait, no, we haven't. Oh my God. Wait, buried treasure? Is that going to lead me to the same? No, it wouldn't do that. No, it wouldn't do that. No, it wouldn't do that. Oh, well, that's weird as hell. Okay, interesting. Um, Minecraft boats, all the wood, we'll, we'll keep a little bit off right now. Kelp, paper, emerald. Let's put away, like, the useless things for right now. The leather tunic I want to keep on me since that's, like, cool little loot. I'd love to get a full set of leather from, uh, from treasure. Like a treasure, a leather treasure. Ooh, okay. Coming up with interesting names here. That was a pretty terrible name, but you can get the point. Uh, eh, I mean, I need to be a bit more, more lenient with this. We'll keep the food on me for right now. Shears we can leave. Torch we keep, obviously. The diamond. Uh, the wheats. Let me go ahead and make another crafting table here. I'm gonna have so- I'm gonna have a crafting table at every single island on this entire map by episode 100. 100%. Iron nugget we can put away. A bed we keep on us. Just a little bit of that. Coal, gold, heart of the seas. We definitely don't want to take this with us in case we die. Uh, fishing rod. I'll leave you behind since I'd rather not- I mean, I'll, I'll probably be coming back to grab all this in a moment here. I just want to make sure that I've got room to loot more things and I just keep on- couple things in my inventory before i go down over there let's go check out and see where this treasure is over here because this looks to be the same the literal same island this was number three right yeah this looks to be the literal same island it wouldn't tell me to go back to the same one no there's no way the game would do that wait no this was wait a minute No, we've already done this one. No. Yeah, we've already done this one. Unless... 
Yeah, no, we've already done this one. Did I grab the wrong map, or did it just lead me back to the same... Did I just mine this up? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. I'm just making sure for a second here, okay? Because I feel like I'm going to miss something that I otherwise wouldn't see. Because there's no way in hell that it's telling me to go to the same one when there's different maps and different spawns. Because that would suck. Oh, give me my... Come on, give me my absorption back right now. Losing food for no reason. It wouldn't be here, would it? Or am I just doing weird things at this point? No. No. Off of log, I'm gonna try it around down here. Weird. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's just go, uh... See what the other loot was in this place. To see what those blocks were. That was terracotta. Because that looked cool. I'd love to have, uh... Terracotta is going to be a really key building block for us, huh? A lot of really cool designs we'll be able to do that just were not possible before. I'll maybe get the uh, the magma blocks as well, too. We could try and use these for some stuff. I should probably kill all of you first before we do much else. Because you're all going to try and pull me down or something, right? You asking me to drown with you? Good lord, you guys have health. Well, I mean, I shouldn't actually say you guys have health. You just have quantity. There's a lot of you. There's a lot of you. Back up we go. Problem is, these guys can swim pretty fast upward and down, which I like. You know, they get- they have mobility! A lot of mobs in Minecraft, in fact, the majority of them, I'd say, probably aside from the Ender Dragon and anything Ender, really, uh, just are not fast enough to really be that much of a challenge, you know? And I really would love to do this without taking any damage at all. I think we might be able to do that. As long as I don't drown here. I'm gonna get two more swings out, and then I'm gonna go up. Oh no! Ah! No damage! Cool! <sighs> For some reason, I knew those two swings would kill each one of them. There we go. Alright, uh, let me get my breathing back. At the same time, I can go ahead and knock you out of the park for a moment. Okay. Two, you're down. Alright. Let's take a look. What do we got here? Still being pulled down? Terracotta? Yeah, this is terracotta. Looks cool, though. I'm taking it home. 100% taking it home. Let me get a little bit more breathing room. Thank you. All right, terracotta has been terracotted. And the chest, golden apple. That's always a nice one. Sure, why not? A little bit of coal, why not? First gap we've had in the series. You know, not the biggest achievement, but still kind of interesting. And down here, oh, you're not a drowned. You found a little home. Look at you being all smart and things. Good on you, buddy. Well done. All right, now what do we got over here? Any loot inside this thing? We got some mossy cobble, of course. It looks like there might be some loot here. Let's take a look. Uh, no? No loot? No loot. Okay. Thought that was a little thing of a chest. Not the case. And then what about you? You look like something interesting. I mean, all these look pretty interesting, I'll be honest. Okay, you're trying to pull me down right now. Trying to see, like, in there... That looks like a little haven for a few of them. Could check this out, why not? I think after this I'll probably start doing a little bit of cuts in the video. If I haven't already. Nah, I'll probably keep this one as a extended one. Adventuring's fun, man. They're meant to be longer episodes. Everybody in HTM, you know, and just anybody who's played in, you know, that I've played with, we've always seen adventuring episodes as like, here's cheap and free content that you can keep completely raw, hour long, and you don't gotta do shit aside from press control and W at the same time. <laughs> it's fun. I I've always found it kind of funny. Alright, let me see if I can get down here. Oh no, we're taking damage now. From you. Don't kill me, please. I'm only down here to raid all your things. For all I know, this is just your stuff. Anything? Jessica or anything like that? No. No, no chess. Alright. Oh, that was fun. Might as well you build a little bit of raw salmon. So, I don't think these really have much, like the smaller little ones. Like these little tiny buildings? I don't think we've been inside of this one over here. But it would be like the only other one. No, wait, we have. Wait, did we? No, we haven't. I'm breaking three. Another fishing rod. There we go. Sonax and a coal. Okay. And then what about 
Nothing over here. What about in this? Have we been in here? No, we haven't. Another buried treasure map. Maybe this one will be accurate. Maybe this will be a real buried treasure map. Is that wood? No. Interesting. It's, uh, another brick. Very cool. I think it's another brick, at least. Might not be. Alright. Quit pulling me down. Quit trying to, at least. We're going to swim back onto the boat. We'll take a look at this fourth buried treasure map here. Okay. Um, where is it? Buried treasure map. ID numero four. They're all pointing to the same one. That's not going to... The map literally does not change. The X location does not change. That is the same exact location for the X. That's a little heartbreaking, don't you think? I mean... I guess it makes it so... Let me see, do we have to go... No, nah, it's over here. I guess it makes it so the Heart of the Seas are a bit more rare. Maybe? Or maybe the maps are too common. It might just be the maps. Like, why put down four maps of buried treasure when they all just lead to the same place? I don't know. It's a bit weird to me. But either way, I'm going to go and... Uh, I mean, I kind of want to keep all the buried treasure maps that I find. They're like little souvenirs. I did die with one, unfortunately. The fourth death that I had at the beginning of the episode, lost the map. I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. I thought I grabbed all my items. I looked around the whole ocean floor, and I couldn't find anything. There was nothing to be found, unfortunately. So that sucked. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to go and do a little bit of uh, off-camera exploring, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool. Ooh, okay. All right. Things are getting a little bit more purple now. We moved into a deep, cold ocean. And the border. Hello. Hello, border. Hopefully there's nothing that the border's blocking that I would like to go and check out. I uh, said I'd show you guys anything different, but here we are. <laughs> Right in another one of these things. I mean, I don't think we'll find too much different here. Yeah, just a lot of iron. I'm not even going to worry about the gold nuggets or anything like that. Grab this over here. See, the nice thing about this being a single player series is I don't have to worry about being courteous to other players. Because I'm the only one who's got to deal with it. You know? If I want to keep this to myself, I can. Fairy treasure map ID 5 might actually be bad because the... Oh, uh, you know what? Just realize. That fairy treasure map might, uh... Ooh, fire... Ooh, okay. So we got leather pants and fire protection 4. Could swap out the, uh... I have potatoes as well, too. Ooh, you know what? Potatoes might actually be a really good thing to keep. Hold on a second. I just realized potatoes might be not be that common. I mean, we could get them from... Okay, listen. I said not impossible, but not that common. Because you can't just get them from, like, villages and stuff. You gotta get them from, like, zombies specifically. But, uh, there's another shipwreck over there, too. Where is this uh, buried treasure map going to tell me to go? It's going to tell me to go somewhere toward the border. I think it's right over there. Not the case. Not the case. Can't go. I cannot go. In fact, actually... Hold on. I was going to call it for a moment. I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't I don't think I should be showing this. Yep. Look at that. That's a biome. That ain't no island. That's a biome right there. Like, would this not feel weird if that wasn't, you know... I wish I couldn't even see it, to be honest. I, I feel like I've already killed Immersion, but you guys knew, knew the game plan from day one. Would it not be weird if I could just go over to that willy-nilly, you know? Like, would that be strange? I feel like it would be, eh. To me, it just wouldn't feel like a vanilla war or a, an ocean let's play if I could just be like, Oh yeah, let me just go to the Tega Biome and grab this. Because while we are limited on more things, I don't know if you can get, like, jungle wood from fishing. That'd be really cool if you could. Oh, damn. I wonder... Like a jungle sapling. I wonder if you could get that from, uh... From fishing. You probably could. Everybody's telling me fishing is the most overpowered thing in the game. And I need to get on that. And hell, I got a mending fishing rod, so... <laughs> Why not? I can make that my main one. Uh, but I would prefer not to get mining fatigue right now going past this. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see, we'll see if we find anything else. So we're over here, and we got a lukewarm up. The hell is this? What? Wait, is this a ship? What the hell? 
Wait, the heck's this thing? Wait. What's this thing? What are these? A trap doors. What is this thing? What the hell is this thing supposed to be? Wait. Was this supposed to be a ship and it got cut off? Because there's nothing here aside from this. Wait, jungle wood. Hey, it's jungle wood. Well, I was just... Well, there you go. I was just talking about it. No way to get saplings, though, unfortunately. We got a chest here. What's in you? Pumpkins. Hey, and carrots. Very, very beautiful. Okay, sweet. Um, you know what? Let me, uh, make myself a crafting table really fast here. That paper... Can I grab you? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, let's take all the wheat and make it into more bread. So we can go ahead and toss that. And let's grab the pumpkins. Okay, cool. So we got pumpkins out of it. <laughs> very, uh, interesting. We're in a lukewarm biome. And, uh, oh my god, wait a minute. Is this the border? This is the northern border already? Oh, shit. Man, it's weird. I didn't think I... Oh, whoa. This is smaller than I thought. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but like... Yeah, 2,500 by 2,500. I really thought we were... Like, I thought this place was much bigger, actually, than it was. But I guess not. Yeah, you know what? Thinking about it, thinking about like the size of the spawn, but how much the spawn actually takes up on the map... Oh, wow. Oh, that's trippy to think about. Huh. I got a chest over here. What do you got in you? Luck of the C2 book. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and take you. Don't drag me down, please! I think it's a pop song or something like that. Pop song? I'm not sure. Like I said, pop culture, not really, uh, not really on par. So we're all the way up north. Wait, this is our, wait. Uh, that's north. Yeah. I saw a thing and I was like, wait, we went the wrong way. So we're in the lukewarm ocean right now, which... I feel like I should actively have a thing up that has the differences between the biomes. Because I don't exactly recall the difference between a lukewarm. All I know is that... Did I just... Did you just teleport? Okay. So I'm swinging around this lukewarm ocean right now. You know... I j I really want to find a coral reef really badly and I know Kara told me that there's every biome in this map. She physically checked through every one when she flew over and wrote down a little checklist that I had her Oh! Oh, is this it? Yo! Oh, come on. I'm so pumped. Oh, come on. I'm so pumped. Oh, hell yeah. We're in a warm ocean, boys. Oh, man. Oh, what I was going to address is just the idea of like, I, I'm just, I'm anxious to find it because I know there's one in here. Holy shit. Oh, this is Beautiful! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this what they- I thought maybe I could build a house here. I think it's too noisy! Wait, is it get cut off by the border? It does! Oh my god, it kept going. Holy shit! Hopefully nothing important was passed there. Oh, this is right by the desert too, I think! Oh, wow. So this thing kept going for a little bit. I think it ended right over there. So this thing got sliced pretty much directly in half. What is this? A little ravine. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. What kind of fish are these? I've only seen cod and salmon. What are you? Oh, let me take a look at you for a second. I'm going to draw my fishing rods to take a look. Tropical fish, their names. Tropical fish. Got it. Oh, you got a little bit more weight on you, don't you? Yes, you do. Interesting. Yo, this is so beautiful! Oh my god, you know, when Carol was, uh, exploring around the map, yeah, I walked into the room and 
you know, from the way the door is, I can look at her on the computer, but she can't see what I'm doing. Or, hello. I can look at her, but the monitor's not turned toward the door, so I wasn't looking at the monitor. And she's in the middle of flying around, she's like, Whoa! You're gonna love this. And I quote. And like, there's a... Oh, like, what's this? Yeah, like a little door here? Or like a little door? Like a little archway? Okay, cool. Probably uh, a chest here or something like that, I'd assume. Yeah, these are the, the little treasure areas for the coral reefs. This clay. Oh, it's clay. All right, well, I guess the other one was terracotta, so it kind of makes sense. And by, and by kind of, I mean it definitely does. All right, let me go and get a little bit of breathing first before you hurt me. That's definitely what you're going to do. Hello, how you doing? I'm just trying to enjoy my time here. Don't worry, I won't spend too long. I'm kidding, I'm going to live here. I gotta know if I should live here. Because that looks beautiful. We got puffer fish. Oh, we got puffer fish. I do not want to eat you. I do not want to eat you. I'm gonna actually ignore you for right now. Thank you. I don't know. I, I don't think they're rare because I'm pretty sure there's literal puffer fish in this. I think I might have saw them. I'm not sure. But while we're here, we might as well check out this uh, infamous desert biome. That I had mentioned being in here, that I'm sure probably unnerves some people. Like, really? Is it, you got a desert biome? And it looks like... Is it just as I ex expected? Minecraft desert. Oh, we got bunnies because of it! That's adorable. That's adorable. Okay. And there's even more. Wait, unless this is the way we came from? No, it's not. There's even more. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm very happy. So, and I'm also very happy that there's, from what seems to be, no desert temple. Because I didn't want to explore desert temple. But if there is one, I, I'll have to. I mean, it's one of those things like, if there is, I'll have to. But it looks like the border is going to cut off any chance of that if the desert wasn't that small already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the desert just ends anyway. Does it continue going on? Let me see what got cut off here. Not much, right? Yeah. Like, pretty much nothing at all. In fact, actually, it looks like what could have been a structure right there that isn't. Yeah, so, this is the desert. If anything, it's just a more sandy, bigger island that has bunnies. So we have bunnies now. Whereas we wouldn't have had them before. Does that kind of alter the series? Eh. I mean, you gotta think about what we don't have. We don't have parrots. Although, I think parrots got removed, didn't they? Didn't parrots get removed because, like... Isn't it, it wasn't that kind of part of the reason why Minecraft will never add sharks is because they don't want to teach kids to like approach sharks or things like that. I'm pretty sure. Something something like that. I think they got removed. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Um What was I saying? We don't have parrots if those do exist. We don't have ocelots, which that kind of sucks actually, not having ocelots. That's a little bit of a bummer. Uh what else do we not have that is a little bit of a blow? Can I go ahead and kill you? Oh my god, you hurt! I forgot how much damage you do in vanilla Minecraft to just iron armor. Please go the hell away. And by that, I mean I kind of need you to because I'm pretty sure I can't sleep. Also, how the hell did I place this bed uh, floating on the water? Oh, because it the sand fell. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I got a little small area right here. What else do we not have? We got polar bears, I'm pretty sure, because of the, the frozen out. So, okay. This is what I have to ask, right? We got the warm one over here. It looks like a decent... Oh, wow. Oh, it looks like another... Damn. So some things did get cut off. I wish I could have... Wait, what's that little... Ah, oh, it's just like a little treasure thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what else we can find in this, in the coral reef. We'll have to figure that out. I'm pretty sure... See that thing on the top part of the screen? I thought that was a massive pig. Tell me that does not look like a massive pig. The nose? The tail? Jesus, I am either incredibly tired or incredibly stupid. <laughs> probably the, uh, probably the former. Probably the former. I think I'm just tired. So that's where the warm one is. Good to know. Man. 
So we either live there, right? Or we live around a frozen one. Because I'm pretty... Should I be keeping coordinates? I should probably be keeping coordinates. I, uh... Hmm. It's right above the desert, and I know where the desert is. In fact, I'm pretty sure the desert... I think we're directly in the middle of the west. If I remember... Because I don't have the image pulled up on me. In fact, actually, I did bookmark the, the spot. Let me see here. Uh, bookmarks 1.13 world. Where is the desert? The desert is... Oh, is it that low, actually? Oh, it is. Never mind. We're actually quite low. So that's pretty close to spawn. I mean, I say pretty close. 25 by 100 by 2500. It's still far, in a way. It's definitely not next to it. But it's not nearly as far as I thought. Okay, cool. So it's not like we're going to build out... You know, all the way up top, which is good. That's always a good thing. But it wouldn't really matter because I'm not... I'm not going to avoid Sunflower Seed. I'm not going to avoid building somewhere because I'm like, Oh yeah, well that's really far from spawn. The map's not that big. Okay, kind of is. Alright, it's a pretty damn big map, okay? <laughs> 2,500 by 2,500 is a pretty respectable size, I would say. So, we found the warm one. We found that... I'm gonna go see if I can find a bigger frozen... Uh, frozen ocean. Because there's the one that's directly bordering... Yeah, here we go. Okay, well, here we are. There's the one that directly borders the spawn. The mesa. It's on the left and right, which is really cool. But I don't know if there's a standalone one. Since Kara just told me that that one exists, I don't know... She didn't spoil by saying, oh yeah, there's also a bigger frozen one somewhere else. I wouldn't have wanted her to anyway. So I'll see if there's a bigger one of that, and then we'll contemplate where we want to live. So I'm sure if there is a bigger one of that, that'll look sick too. Oh, speaking of a devil. Speaking of the devil. Is this right next to where spawn is? Is that where we are? I think it is. Did this border size cut off what would have been a really large frozen biome? Or do we still have more? No, we have a little- Okay, no, we have more to it. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, we got a lot more. Yeah, no, we got a lot more. Oh, no, okay. Oh, never mind. All right. Never mind. So, it, it, it is cut off, but we're definitely not missing out. At least I don't believe. The hell's that? It's big. This is a good chunk. Very purple. Deep fro- Oh, the purple looks so cool! The purple looks so cool. And there's a ravine down there. And now we start getting into where things are a little bit bigger. The ice looks like it's forming, but I know it's not what's happening. Uh, anything I could dump right now that I wouldn't really care about losing? Maybe the Purple, I don't know. I said I like that, but eh. I mean, the TNT do I really care about? I don't really care. I'm not. What are we going to be using TNT for? Not much. I'm going to go ahead and take us for, for a second here. Let's see if I can find a pol polar bear or two. Because it might irk me living here, knowing that the border kind of cut off some, but at the same time, that would be the same with the. Uh, what kind of ice is this? Is this packed ice? Mm, I don't think so. Wait, no, this is packed ice. Brent. Uh, come on. What is that? I'll have to look up uh, what kind of ice that is, because that looks cool. And then these are snow blocks, I believe? Yeah, those are full snow blocks. No, this is pretty big. And then polar bear. Hey, what's up? So, okay. We have two options for where we would like to live. We got the coral reefs, or we got over here. I feel like... You're not aggressive, are you? No. I feel like I know where you guys would want me to live, and I'd say the coral reefs would be the biggest one. I'm gonna leave a straw poll down below, but please do comment. No, you know what, actually? No straw poll. Just comment. If you see a person throwing out the idea of li Not Siri, shut up. If you see someone throwing out the idea of wanting to live in a certain biome, either comment that yourself, reply to that comment, or thumbs it up. 
The other perk about this, though, which could also be seen as a con, is we are next to spawn. So we do have that going for us. It's not too far. But then again, I didn't want to use spawn as like a building crutch. You know what I mean? This is right next to where it is. If I'm going to pick a personal favorite of the two, I do want to see what the other one to the right of spawn looks like before we continue. Because Kara did a wonderful job with this area. This is a really beautiful area. I just don't want to build here and live here because there's some stuff here that I don't want to take advantage of. You know? I know Mesa Biomes have a lot more uh, railroads and cave sections. I'm not going to do any sort of resource gathering here. Which I think might be the hard thing if I did live over here because I wouldn't want to touch anything with this. It's just not part of my rule. Anything on this island is just... I'm void of doing anything with it. Unless maybe you guys thought that it would be okay for me to grab, like, clay from here. But we'll talk about that another time when I start getting into, like, building. You guys can let me know whether... I mean, you could comment now if you wanted to. Whether you think it's okay for me to grab clay from here or not. And I guess technically as well, too, grab trees and saplings of the, uh, the Tega kind. So... You know, like I said, I don't know if either of those are okay in my book. You guys can always let me know what you think as well, too. So, the biggest frozen ocean biome seems to be, at least for right now, unless there's another one ahead of us because I haven't seen this corner of the map at all. And there's probably a giant chunk in the middle of the map that I've yet to see. That looks like the biggest frozen ocean area. And I think we've seen all nine biomes. I think we've seen all nine biomes. Could be wrong. So we've gone around a good little portion of the map, and I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I mean, I'll probably keep sailing for a little bit while the conversation goes on, but I think I'm going to end it here. There's a lot of the, you know, middle of the map that I'm sure we've yet to see, but shit, how do you expect me to see all of the map already? I mean, it's huge, you know? Like, we've scaled the outside. That's fine, and that's possible, but at the same time, it's not the easiest thing to scale the entire place, especially, you know, not, but it's not just 2,500 and then go into the 2,500. Oh yeah. 5,000. And then, you know, 10,000. Oh yeah. You, you figured it all out. Where the hell's my boat? Thank you. It's like, oh yeah. So now, uh, zoom around the middle of it and try not to overlap where you already were. I'm leaning more toward living in the the coral reef. I think that's where I want to live. You guys can let me know if you are way on another page as me. Than me. <laughs> it's time for bed. But I think that's where we're going to go. Because at the end of the day as well too. Each one of these biomes that we're picking from. I mean the two that we're picking from. The coral reef or the frozen ocean. They both get a an actual biome next to them. Despite the fact that I didn't want that. Well, I guess I did want the Mesa because that's a good spawn point. But next to the uh, the coral reef, we get the desert. So we get uh, bunnies. Or rabbits, rather. Not bunnies, rabbits. Different things, different things. So that's like a little small perk. But it's like... So essentially, what I'm going to end you guys off with is the question. Would you prefer me living right next to spawn with easy access to the spawn? And then maybe we could talk about using it for more things than just the spawn. You know, maybe actually using it for resources. Not necessarily mining, but more like clay and building stuff or whatever. Or would you prefer me move out to the west side of the map? You know, west coast, best coast. If you guys pick the west coast, then that's confirmed west coast, best coast. So don't let me down. And me live next to a desert while building my house in a coral reef. Because at the same time, I likely will not be on the surface. I will be down underneath the water. So another thing you have to ask yourself is, what do you prefer seeing every day for an episode? Light blue turquoise water or deep, luxurious purple water? Once you guys find out both, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and hop off for right now. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we will catch you all back next time for another episode of Hydration. Remember, keep yourself hydrated, as I'm going to do right now. God, the water's so warm. It's 91 degrees in my room. Holy shit. I'm dying. <laughs> if it wasn't for this fan, I would not be able to work. Bless for fans. I don't know how they work, but goddamn, they do it well. And remember, uh, depending on the vote, 
series outcome. Rest in your hands, soldiers. Take care. We'll see you all back next time. Ciao.